Oh, it's a Monday. It's a brand new week. And、um, I'm pretty excited about this.、Uh, we are beginning our hybrid or blended learning beginning tomorrow. And、uh, it's because it's an indication that the infection here in the city where I work has gone down. As a matter of fact, I had a conversation with one of the p e r s o n in the neighborhood, and on her、uh, relative works for the hospital. And she said there's only one infection in that particular hospital. So that's already a great sign of、uh, we are still in the tunnel, but we are getting closer and closer and closer to the light, the bright light at the end of the tunnel. And,、um, but as I said, we are still in the tunnel. We don't need to bring our guard down. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. In fact, I am pretty much set. I have another set of computers right in front of me. And I got two teaching stations. The first, the first original one where I normally teach, right in front of the room with all those uh, improvised uh, shields. I will still use it, particularly if I'm doing a demonstration or, ex- or an,、um, an experiment with my students. And the other one, the other section is this. So, this is another teaching station. I got the commercial limit plexiglass, plexiglass, I would say. And I do have、um, the three computers here. So, I got three laptops there and three laptops here as well. They're all in use. Now, again, I feel like <laughs> in a true Star Trek here, right? So, class is ready. It should be hunky dory. And、um, I, there's a one, but I will、uh, cross the bridge when students get here. And I pretty much I think I pretty, know, and I pretty know what to do with my students who are coming in. By the way, there's only a few students who decided to be on a blended or hybrid learning. So, but still, most of, most of them decided to enjoy the comfort of their home. I can't blame them. At home, they don't need to wear a mask, and、uh, they have an access to their fridge and everything. And there's only how many weeks?、Um, four weeks left, and the school year is over. And I am so thrilled and over the moon. And I'm ready. I'm ready for my next de- destination. As I said in my other previous recording, the first destination this summer will be. Uh, Seychelles in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in the eastern part of Africa, close to Maldives, to Comoros Island, as well as、uh, Mauritius. I wish I'm able to go to Mauritius because Mauritius this time is still closed for international travelers. I hope and pray the infection will go down. As a matter of fact, Mauritius was my original plan last、uh, April of 2020. Together with Seychelles, because there are two neighboring island nations in the eastern part of Africa, in the Indian Ocean, that can easily be uh, uh, reached by a small plane ride. Apparently, as a matter of fact, they also, they also killed、uh, the ferries in between the two nations because of the pandemic. But you can do ferry as well during the normal、uh, pre pandemic period. And then the next destination will be、uh, Georgia, which will be in the Caucasus, which is、uh, close to, I think, border with Russia, with Turkey, as well as in、uh, Azerbaijan. And I am excited about this because Georgia is one of the least known nations when it comes to、uh, relocation on the map. A lot of people who know the states here in the US think that Georgia is one of the states. No. Georgia is a country that is in Caucasus, is in between, that is a set of countries, including Turkey, Armenia, that is in between Asia as well as、um, uh, Europe. All right? So they are、uh, nations that the transition between these two massive continents, Asia and Europe, and they are called the Caucasus.、Uh, an example is Armenia. Armenia and Turkey, as well. As a matter of fact, in Turkey, there is a, there is a Bosphorus River in Turkey. So you cross the bridge, just cross the bridge, you, are, you can have a coffee in Asia. Or you, and then 
go back to the other side of the bridge where you came from and you can have your dinner or lunch in, uh, in Europe. And that's the Bosphorus River. And that's in Caucasus. All right, so I am thrilled over the moon. I hope everyone is doing well. It's the start of the brand new week. All right, once again, traveling is not arriving into a new destination. It is looking at the world in a different perspective. Keep the smile and the world will smile at you. Cheers. Be safe. Bye. And God bless everybody. They're taking their time, but they're growing. <laughs> I'm home, or by the way, so I just came from work. It's the Monday, the start of the week, getting ready for uh, blended hybrid learning uh, tomorrow, the big day. Anyway, I am uh, excited. Uh, the second set of lettuce that I started growing, uh, they're from the supermarket, by the way. Originally, there are not organic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm growing them hydroponically and organically. They're really taking their time, but it's fascinating how um, the, the leaves are growing. Okay, slowly, slowly. And they're growing roots already. And uh, let's take a look. And, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I dropped it. So here, they're growing the baby roots. I am so excited. And this is the second set of uh, lettuce uh, that I'm growing. I, I, I've done in the past, but this one I'm really taking it more in a very particular way, doing, uh, making certain that they are rings on a daily basis. Oh, look at that. Lovely, aren't they? So I chopped the leaves, cleaned it, and it's the fridge. And those are the ones that I am uh, putting in my dish. But the main, uh, the main uh, bottom pots, I save them, and here they are, and they're growing. And next to it, <laughs> the okra and the chili pepper are growing as well. So these are the ones I have at home, and you can see that's the okra. Uh, it's taking a longer time, but it's growing. Apparently, I put a lot of the seeds, but I think there's only two that, or there's three that they continue germinating so i do expect it we're going to be taking longer i started the germination process back in april 8 and it's already april uh, to 20 26 it's taking a long while isn't it uh i'm understandable because based on the information i got so okra will take about six to eight weeks as a matter of fact six weeks up uh, to actually grow uh, really um independently outside so i think in the next couple of weeks so this will be ready for replanting uh, on a bigger pot on uh, a bigger potting soil and outside and then the let's look at the uh, all the um twisted here let's look at the chili pepper the chili pepper is really growing amazingly now faster so this one it took weeks before they became this tall and uh, comparatively speaking, uh, the um, okra will take a little bit longer. I'm sorry. No, this takes a little bit longer than okra. Okra germinated first, but it took a while as compared to this one. So this is chili pepper. And it looks like all the seeds I planted are growing nicely. There you go. Ah, they're green. And there's another, and there's another uh, set of... Uh, Chili, pepper, there you go. They're growing. <laughs> I'm excited. And I will gonna have a organically grown uh, uh, okra, as well as chili pepper, as well as uh, lettuce. Let me show you another set that I have here. And this is what is outside. It's at the veranda. So this is the this is the other set. This is the one that I started. Uh, this is also the. Uh, this is also lettuce, and this has been growing for a while. Even before I left for Aruba, 
So what I did is that I, I did the same process, just like the one that I had inside. And, uh, but upon my arrival from Aruba, and see how they, how much growth they had. And this is the one that is in a recycled container. There's a potting soil and I put a, you know, this is a recycled uh, 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 door screen, window screen that I had. I needed to replace my window screen at home. And there's a water in the pot and they are germinate, uh, they're growing. I think eventually I will gonna be harvesting set of um, uh, leaves <laughs> for my dish for my sorry and here's another one so this is the the baby uh, this is the baby uh, bok choy and this one I'm using a recycled container see that as a matter of fact this is a recycled uh, what do you call this uh, soda container and I'm and I'm using it to as a, to contain uh, the water for this particular baby bok choy so it's growing slowly by the way it's slowly growing but expectedly they are uh, taking their time to grow and eventually time to harvest all right let's check once again here's the the new lettuce that i am growing and that's the okra and these are the uh, the chili pepper amazing isn't it yeah I'm excited so this is what keeps me busy uh, at home so after work on a weekend you know after the exercise and it's still uh, pretty freezing outside and I'm planting them inside so for germination process it uh, should be indoor first and then once they're ready for to live independently to enjoy the brilliant sun uh, okra may be soon ready maybe another week or two uh, the chili pepper i'll just still i uh, can uh, keep it at home for the time being and let it grow more all right so here the temperature is a little bit more controlled anyway i'm excited so as i said in my other recording so counting days four weeks to go and i'm done summer should be here Hopefully we have a warmer summer. So this spring is pretty odd as compared to the spring last time. Uh, back back a year ago, uh, it should be bright and sunny outside. But now it's still chilly. The temperature is in uh, is fluctuating from the lower 50s to the higher 50s, and that is freezing. All right. So bye for now. Keep that smile, and I hope everyone will have a pleasant night. Cheers!